Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Electropixels. This is a 40-inch Sansui LED TV. It's a full HD TV. Here in this TV, the fault is double image. See friends, this is the fault. Here you can see double image on the TV screen. See the display shows blurred image. As we discussed earlier, these types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panel. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. If both sides of the glass panel is short then the panel is not repairable. See friends however we can solve this panel complaint using a temporary solution. It just only a temporary fixing method. Permanent solution is panel replacement. See friends here you can see, this is the scalar board. It's a full HD AUO panel is used in this TV. This is the panel model number T390HVN04. See friends since it's an AUO panel we can repair it by removing the VGH, VGL shorting. Here you can see this is the scalar board of this panel. In this AUO panel to repair this fault here we implementing level shifter IC modification method. Here we can see two test points named as LC1 and LC2 they are also called as VGH odd and VGH even respectively. In these both test points the VGH voltage and VGL voltage will appear simultaneously as a pulsing voltage. If the VGH voltage in LC1 then VGL voltage will be in LC2. If VGL voltage in LC1 then VGH will be in LC2. So here this double image is mainly because of shorting in LC1 and LC2 track. Here actually the shorting is with the VGH, VGL voltages in LC1 and LC2. See friends this is the level shifter I see and here you can see the LC1 and LC2 tracks are written on the panel scalar board. So first thing before starting repair we need to cut down the LC1 and LC2 tracks from the level shifter I see. We need to block the LC1 and LC2 signal voltages entering to the panel through this scalar board. For that first we need to cut down the LC1 and LC2 tracks from level shifter I see. For preventing the shorting. Before starting repair here you can again see the picture condition, the double image is still there. Here you can notice on thing the display is correct for a second then again goes to double image, then again picture will correct like this simultaneously display showing good image and double image. This symptoms indicates a VGH, VGL shorting between LC1 and LC2. If both sides of the panel is short then it's not repairable. Now as a first step of repair let's cut down LC1 and LC2 tracks from the level shifter IC. See friends finally here you can see from the level shifter IC here we cut down the LC1 and LC2 tracks. By doing this modification the voltages from LC1 and LC2 will not enter into the panel through the scalar board. Now in this condition we need to try bypassing VGH voltage to LC1 and VGL voltage to LC2. If picture is ok then do nothing. 
If picture is not OK then bypass VGH voltage to LC2 and VGL voltage to LC1. Like earlier if picture is OK then do nothing, otherwise it's not repairable. See friends here you can see two resistors first one is the LC1 and second one LC2. See this is the LC1 and this is the LC2. See here we are bypassing the VGH voltage to LC1 and VGL voltage to LC2. Remember that this is just only temporary solution and the permanent solution is panel replacement dot and we can't predict how long the display will work using this method. It completely depends on user luck basis. So let's start the bypass process with the help of a jumper wire.c. Friends, finally here you can see white wires represents VGL voltage and black wire indicates VGH voltage. So here VGH volt gate is bypassed to LC1 and VGL to LC2. See friends now let's us turn on the TV and check the picture. Now TV is powered on. So let's check the display see now the display is crystal clear and the double image is solved successfully. So here panel repairing is done successfully. Now the VGH, VGL shorting inside the glass panel removed. Here in this panel actually the VGL voltage in LC1 is short with VGH voltage in LC2. So that's it hope you like this video, see you in another video with another interesting topic. If you like our channel please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification. Thank you for watching.